So today's agenda is to fit a load of wires uh, going to each of the action camera mountings. So when I flick a switch in the car it turns all the cameras on and it sets them off recording instantly so instead of having to press record on four or five different cameras and get out of the car and all the rest of it um, I'm just going to be able to flick a switch and off the go uh, it'll do it itself even the outside one on the front bumper I've got a little waterproof fitting for that so yeah the waterproof USB on the front route that round couple either side for the passenger driver's side and then take it back to uh, my last auxiliary switch that I've got in there, then that's that, that, that done. And then in the back I've got um, a new radiator, because the radiator seems to be leaking coolant. Well, else would it be leaking, thinking about it. But yes, it's leaking coolant. That's no other way around it, really. Yeah, you could, you could botch it or try loads of other things. But drifting cooling is so important that it's tough not to sort it properly once and for all so yeah brand new uh, radiator looks really nice it's a cheap Chinese one well, I said cheap it's well it's cheap yeah it's 45 pound it was so for, I was I was expecting somewhere in the region of 100 pound for a BMW sort of radiator but no 45 pound and when it turned up it looks just as good and well made as the original one that's on it so that's hopefully gonna go on and get um, and then I'm gonna obviously fill it and uh, bleed it all and that's that's sorted I've been told that um, bleeding the radiators on an E36s are not fun uh, we, I've been told you have to jack it up and jack the front up or, or do it on a hill um, so yeah that should be interesting so yeah have a drive up see how it goes Right, well the fan's out, PD Pops has given me a hand doing it, we're not having fun, we decided to um, take the viscous out and it's proving not to come out so so far we'll bring shit out of it with all sorts, Pete's come up with this idea, not bad, not bad, the spell fan's going to replace it, the spell fan fits perfectly uh, on there and you can see the old fan the previous fan, that's what's done all the damage. The new radiator is the wrong fucking one. Oops. Good, bad. Uh oh. Hi, hi guys, you join us a week after. Uh, what happened <laughs> was just typical, really. Uh, I went to set the fan out, the fan wouldn't come out, couldn't get the, uh, the locking nut on the viscous fan off. Uh, eventually when it did come away, it snapped the shaft of the water pump. So in the uh, in the tradition of how these um, videos are going to go, I'm doing everything on a shoestring budget. So on the way back, ordered a water pump, it was £30 delivered, and it arrived the very next, next working day. Um, so that was very impressive. Uh, opened it up, had a look inside. Um, the, the pump seems really, really nice, uh, really well made, uh, the bearings feel lovely, uh, seals on really well. So yeah, spawn, so we're going to go and fit that. Uh, also ordered the right size radiator this time. Uh, yep, yeah, never mind. Cook up on my behalf, I'm choking on my McDonald's. <clears throat> gotta have a Mackey D's, gotta have some to eat before I start up there. So I'm going to crack on with getting the water pump in, that should be piece of cake, get the pulley on, get the belt on, choke on the McDonald's, then get the radiator in, uh, again cheap and cheerful um, coolant bar, what is it, it's Granville, I uh, paid £16.50 for it, it's a concentrate, 5 litres, I'm uh, going to put that in at a 30% mix, since it's going to be summer, <laughs> yeah, well it's going to be summer soon apparently, um, but yeah, uh, we should have the cooling side that far done. I've got a medical at one o'clock, so but that's only around the corner where I work. So hopefully get the medical done, come back and then start um, wiring this spell fan in. Because I'll fit the fan to the radiator before the radiator goes in, might as well. Saves fiddling about. Um, and then, yeah, I've got to wire the relays up and then figure out 
which uh, which wire to take it to um, on the switch on the on the thermal switch on the side of the radiator. I've got a, an override button as well, so I've got to wire that up to it. So yeah, I can either have it permanently on at the flick of a switch, or just going off the, the stat basically. So yeah, let's see uh, let's see how it goes. Right, so uh, here are the new parts. Like I said, uh, cheap and cheerful Granville Zero Cold 12 antifreeze and coolant. The cheap and cheerful eBay water pump. Okay. I'll put some um, crimps in there for doing the relay later. But yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. You get what you pay for, uh, but yeah, it seems all right. Good nick. Next, we move on to the radiators, and as you can see, there's just a little bit of a size difference. This one here is the wrong one. This one here is the correct one. Uh, just a little bit of a size difference. Well, there you go. Right, so we're going to put a bit in there. So let's have a look and see what a mess. Well, it's not really that bad, I suppose. Ah, I've put the cover back on. Uh, well, yeah, I'll take the cover back off and then we'll have a proper look and I'll set the tripod up. Okay, we have a slightly better view now. As you can see, the water pump is currently missing. Um, I'm just going to undo the tension, slacken the tensioner off, pop the new one back in. Um, no idea why a piece of wood's there. Pop the new radiator in that gap with the spell fan that for <laughs> last week I was like, what? That's strange. I'm sure a 16 inch fan fits that radiator. Well, yes, it does, Ian. A 16 inch fan does fit a proper size radiator. But it doesn't fit the wrong size one that you bought last week. So, right, let's crack on. So, well, if you couldn't tell, um, I hit it pretty well that I've never done a water pump change before and I've never done a belt change or anything. So, what I worked out was uh, the tensioner had to come off, didn't realise how tight these belts go. So the tensioner came off, uh, the water pump went in, dead easy. Uh, seal, seal, seal up nice, uh, put the pulley back on. Um, it was when I got to the belt, it was the fun bit because I didn't realise how tight the belt was. When I put it on, I thought you don't even need a tensioner. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a chew on getting it right and then um, realising the tension I had to lock into a certain place to keep the tension on. Okay, so that's the radiator back in, that's the hoses back on. Don't know why, but for some reason, I found that this hose was too long and it was kinking up there. Um, but it measures the same as the other fan. I don't know why. It's as tight as it can get over this panel here, so it's very unlikely to be that. It fits in the holders. So anyway, just trimmed, trimmed that down. Fan's not connected yet. Temperature sender is. Uh, so now it's time to fill her up. Thermostat had to come out, took the thermostat out because 
We're getting no heat through the heaters at all. You probably can't hear me, but we're getting no heat through the heaters at all. And we're getting uh, fluid spilling out all over, so there's obviously airlocks in there. So I took the thermostat out <coughs> because I think that was blocking it too. the system up again um, this time I've been I had it ticking over for a few minutes the heat's not even at the first bar so it's like quarter temperature if you will uh, quarter temperature and uh, I've got red hot heat coming out of the heaters so bonus that's that, that's that fixed now all I'm going to do is make sure it doesn't leak anywhere but yeah another problem solved so now all we've got really is the e-brake Happy days by the way, up to go drifting on the 1st of May. So that's it. Finally, on my channel, I am actually going to go drifting. At Teesside, 1st of May. One of uh, the drift lads, Adam Roberts, uh, he's said he will quite happily sit in with me all day and give me as many lessons as possible. So I'm quite looking forward to this now. Oh yeah, the steering doesn't point straight. I will do that next. But yeah, bring on the drift day, I can't wait now. Got back out after uh, having a spin with the car. Um, everything's okay now, the heating's fine, the vents are boiling hot, don't know how much you could hear inside the car. Um, so I might record another bit of what I said, just in case you couldn't hear me. But what was a fail was the brakes. Uh, when I got back, the rear discs were basically um, seized on completely <laughs> um, so obviously now we know that the calipers well now I know that the caliper is the problem uh, it's either not going on or it's, it's on and it's locked so uh, yeah stripped the calipers off well stripped one of the calipers off unfortunately couldn't get the fitting off so new pipe on its way as you can see though calipers fucking minging so what I'll do is I'll tart all that lot up, buy a new seal set, um, and then paint it all nice and yellow. Ooh, yeah, I'll grab the yellow paint while I'm at it, thinking about it, before I forget. So yeah, um, either way though, it doesn't matter, I can still drift without it right now, I just want to have an e-brake, I'll just have a handbrake, and the handbrake works absolutely fine. So yeah, heating's fixed, bonus, no thermostat in anymore, new water pump, new radiator, lovely. Uh, brakes still don't work, story of my life. So anyway, it'll all be done by the 1st of May, or it better be, because I'm drifting. Whee!